Hi, I'm Joby and welcome to a Node 7 Electronics video. This video is the third and final part in my KiCad Basics series and what we're going to be doing today is finishing up the PCB design and then I'll show you how you can export your PCB into a Gerber format so that you can upload it to a PCB design website of your choice. So we're going to start off by opening our PCB and one of the first things that we're going to do to kind of finish up this circuit board is add a filled area on both layers. So we're just going to select one corner of your board and then we'll just start with front copper and pick the ground so you can create a ground pour on all of the non-filled areas of your board. And there you go, and you can see that it filled in all of the, most of the filled in areas with just copper. And that'll improve your circuit board and just make it better. Uh, and then we can go again. This time we're going to be doing fat copper, again ground. We'll wrap around the board. There we go, and you can see we've got the fill. Alright, now that we've got that done, we can go here and go front silk, so that'll show us the silk screen layer. So we can kind of fix up some of these silk screens, so you're just going to just drag them so that they're close to their respective parts. Makes sense, you know. And if you don't want the part number for a particular part, you can hit E over top of it and select invisible. And if you want a part that's showing up as yellow, hit E over top of it and move it to your silk screen layer. So I'm just gonna go through and tidy up all of my silk screens now. Alright, so once you finish tidying up your circuit board, you can do that as much as you like actually. Uh, then we can prepare to export the files uh, into the Gerber format. So you're going to click this button here, plots, and you're going to make sure that you've got front copper and back copper selected, back copper and front, or back silk and front silk selected, and then you also need edge cuts and back mask and front mask, all right? Make sure that you select use Protel file name extensions and change the output directory to something in your project directory, but I would recommend changing it to Gerber or, or adding another folder and doing it inside of there to keep everything separated. So select yes. And then you can click plot and it'll generate all of your Gerber files and then you need to generate your drill file. Make sure that you have suppress leading zeros checked, minimal header checked, so that the precision is 2 to 4. Then you can just click the drill file, make sure it's in your Gerber directory, and it'll generate the drill file. Once you've done that, you can save your board and close KiCad. Alright, so once you're finished in KiCad, you can just bring up the location where you saved your Gerber files, which is right here. And if you, make sure that you have 7-zip installed. This will allow you to compress the files into a zip archive to upload to the PCB manufacturing website. So you can just right-click the folder, 7-zip, and add to gerber.zip. As you can see here, it's created a zip file, and if I open this up, there's all of our files in here. So once you've got this all zipped up, you can open your browser and load up your PCB manufacturer's website. For this example, I'll be using Oshpart. They're a fairly affordable uh, website and they're great for first prototyping and the board's of course very, very high quality. All right, so now that we've loaded up Oshpart, what you're gonna do is make sure that you've created an account first. So you're just going to go your email, your name, your 
your password and confirm your password and then click sign up I've already used my email but it should work for you then you can go log in put in your email put in your password once you're signed in you can go home get started now select the file on your computer or you can just drag your zip file in and then you can put in your name and description and you can see we have some images of the project here and click continue We've got some better images so it's important to take a look at these and make sure that everything looks right there's no broken traces or whatnot and also make sure that your holes are appear to be in the right place it says here at the bottom that it removed an empty file uh, silk bottom because there was no silk screen on the bottom of this if you want to add an image or something to the bottom you can do that or if you, you can also add text to the bottom that's up to you and it's also warning you that your pro project doesn't contain a bottom silk screen so if you see this warning and you're supposed to have something there just make sure that everything's uh, proper you can approve an order and as you can see you can get three copies of this cord for about twelve dollars now it's important to note that from Oshpark you can only get boards in quantities of three so you can get so you can get three boards you could get six you could get nine and the prices don't really get better the more you get I would recommend just go in with three if you're just prototyping so that you can make sure that your design works and then if you would like to go make more then you can order from other places where it's not as cheap to go with a smaller run so just select however many you'd like and then you can also go keep shopping and uh, check out some other people's shared projects see if any of those boards are interesting to you and if we go to my projects here is the project right here and you can click order now check out and just fill all this stuff out usually shipping's fairly cheap as it's just it comes in a flat bubble envelope so that's all hopefully this this series of tutorials helped you learn how to use KiCad and please like comment and subscribe